Hi, I'm Wally from Black Dot Energy. And in this documentary series, we're looking at a beautiful commercial um, agricultural application of solar PV. Solar PV, um, solar power energy generation. Um, and this system was designed by Henning Ollum from, from Ollum and Friends. Um, and the rollout and, and commercial side was done by Etienne from EVB Electrical. Um, and today we're going to showcase for you um, how a commercial plant like this in an agricultural um, scenario can be not only profitable but also contribute to various factors like energy security and illustrating how easy a plant like this um, could be put in place. Um, I'm going to ask Henning to tell us a bit about the plant and then uh, Etienne is going to give us some pointers on on what they found with rolling out this project and, and the hurdles they had to overcome. Henning, tell us a bit more about your design. Yes, Wally, thank you. When we started this plant and we met up with the client for the first time, um, they had four ESCOM connection points, each with the monthly cost, obviously. And uh, specifically, one of the connection points was a gate in a small house, which basically used no electricity um, or a few kilowatt hours and had this uh, overhead cost. Um, we uh, put them all to one single point, the point that you see across there. Um, and had to then lay overhead lines and underground lines to the other points. So we've got one distribution point. And that in itself uh, saved uh, six or seven thousand rand a month just by all the connection points that were done with. From ESCOM's point of view, obviously that makes also sense. Less to, 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 to administration, less to manage, um, although the energy sales are exactly the same. Once this was done, one needs to remember that the agricultural sector like this doesn't have only this monthly up and down or this, this um, daily uh, uh, swing of energy consumption, but a monthly one as well, seasonal. Yes. Um, so you see that um, some month they need to pump a lot more water for the irrigation or for the um, sorting uh, machines for the um, oranges, in this case citrus. Um, and so it's, it's all the time up and down and this means a plant like this would in certain instances produce too much energy which then needs to be uh, fed back into the grid and then other times they would consume a lot more um, than they actually generate and so they would need additional energy from, from ESCOM. Um, this is a low voltage system. Uh, with uh, three phase um, 400 volt uh, inverters and about 120 kilowatt just above that um, which generates um, a little bit less than the total annual um, uh, uh, consumption for this particular client and it's grid tied um, so in, in the sense that uh, it's connected straight to the transformer here via the switch gear obviously that we will have a look at. Um, in addition, what you can see important in terms of the design is security. You see that this is all around, we've got a fence around. And then on, to keep the maintenance low, we used a, a crusher sand uh, underneath. So we don't have plants and grass growing through the system. Um, and the angle of the tilt angle here is r relatively steep, so 20, 25 degrees. And as soon as you go beyond 15 tilt angle, uh, it starts washing itself with rain and so forth. And as this is a farmer, they've always very practical about things and they put an irrigation system which okay. sprinkles the system and cleans it on a, on a regular basis which keeps the maintenance a lot lower than it normally would be. Um, the inverters are on the plant, um, so underneath the panels. Okay. So the AC, DC cables are relatively short and then we feed out with <coughs> AC to a central box where all the switch gear is and a control system that manages this feedback um, because in this particular case, there's an anti-reflux system which does not allow to feed back. It's a low voltage system and the approval of it. And um, on that note, we can uh, discuss with uh, Etienne von Blerk uh, just quickly uh, the installation. Um, initially, we had uh, discussions with the client, which took some time to get the design and the financial side done. But then also we had the discussions with ESCOM on the connection. Tell us a bit about it. Like I said uh, previously, and um, this is a, a low voltage connection, which which you get from ESCOM, you get a low voltage and a medium or high voltage connection. The low voltage systems, we do not have any. Uh, well, at this moment, we do not have any 
um, law or, or um, legislation. legislation, there's the word I'm looking for, legislation regarding the low voltage systems, ESCOM is currently busy with, with, with that and they expect to answer or documentation up and running within the next few months, months uh, regarding the low voltage connections. With the medium and high voltage connections, it's a, it's a bit of a longer process, um, but ESCOM is working with us at the moment regarding that and it's going much quicker than it did a, a couple of months or a couple of years ago. So in that regard, um, it's going, it, we, we're on the right track. And then as a plant is concerned, how long did it take to implement this? We've got here specifically the auger drilling um, and poles planted in, in, into the soil as it is here. Tell us about the process and time that it took you to put up a 120 kilowatt plant. Well, in, in this case, it was a bit difficult, like all of you would know, you don't know what's under the ground or under the soil, so you don't know what to expect. In this specific case, we um, we used the auger drill. Uh, we drilled 1.2 meters, 300 millimeters wide. Uh, we, we had a bit of difficulty regarding old um, um, concrete foundations uh, for tobacco ovens that stood here a very long time ago. And we also had a, a swimming pool that we drilled here. So, so that was a bit difficult. Um, other than that, everything went well. We took about a month to a month and a half only for the, for the, uh, for the drilling. And then the plant went up quite quickly. That took us about another two weeks and, uh, until we switched on. And, and, and that was quite quick, but the drilling was, was a bit difficult. So always surprises with things that we don't see. Um, yet uh, good surprises from the client. They're happy. Is the system performing the way they anticipated? In and yeah. Um, this plant has been running for about 16 months now. Um, and and we've, we've actually outdone our own simulations uh, for the past 16 months we have most of the months we pr produced all of the power that the cl client needed some months we we had a bit of a surplus uh, but but uh, the client is very happy and and he is thinking of expanding in a while so i was just about to ask about the expansion which i thought would not happen then but i assume they uh, will up their production then because that's a possibility that's created here um, and, and financially, how does that look? Um, uh, obviously, it runs and it outperforms in kilowatt hours and the financial model, same story? Yeah, definitely. The, the client, um, like I say, is excep exceptionally happy about the plant here yeah, and, and is saving more than what, what he expected. So um, they already contacted me and said, uh, financially wise, they are ready and they are just, uh, well, they're looking at it now to expand. Well, Etienne, thank you very much and congratulations to a well done plant and there one can see with uh, good planning and uh, conservative thinking um, one achieves uh, um, a lot with a plant like this and it seems that like everyone is pulling in the right direction here, uh, seems like uh, ESCOM is getting on uh, quicker on, onto these plants and deliver a lot quicker on it. Um, and it makes a financial sense and uh, Wally there is another plant done uh, running for 16 months outperforming that is great news and this is exactly what we want to hear. Exactly and, and um, that's what we want to illustrate with these uh, documentary videos. Um, in this documentary series you've seen um, domestic applications, you've seen commercial applications for, for business concerns and, and now for even the agricultural sector how larger scale plants makes absolute sense. Um, a lot of the inquiries that we receive is uh, a lot of times more energy security related and I think that hurdle and, and paradigm that whether a plant is financially viable we, we're far beyond that point and, and solar has, has proven its effectiveness in the South African market and hence why this market is booming. Um, if you've got any um, plant designs or questions that you've got please forward those to us we could definitely assist with plant designs but on that point i'm going to ask Henning to quickly um, discuss with us the, the switch gear and, and inverters and that we give you a bit of a summary on on, on the technical side Henning, should we look at that equipment let's go and have a look uh, wally we're standing under the panels here and you can see the inverter to my left here with enough space above and below for the ventilation um, the inverters are distributed uh, uh, in the whole plant, um, making the DC cables in this case relatively short. 
um, and you can see four strings underneath coming in from the two sides and across in two rows. Um, the whole system is uh, put on a galvanized structure, relatively lightweight, um, for simple installation and obviously minimum cost, um, with guarantee that needs to be at least the same than the panel is, which is a 25 performance guarantee. Right? Um, from this uh, inverter, which is a 20 kilowatt three-phase, we've got the output on the uh, AC side, which connects to the distribution board on the other side, um, with the uh, circuit breakers and parallel to that you see um, some uh, communication cables which monitors the whole plant and looks at the performance and makes maintenance a lot easier. The system itself on the galvanized structure uh, on smaller systems you will always see that this is aluminium to make it a bit cheaper there um, but here we've got the longer spans of three to four panels on a span uh, to avoid um, all the uh, connection points. And then lastly you see the um, stone on the floor here uh, which lowers the maintenance um, so that there are no plants that grow through the system and or animals that uh, nest in the system.